Correct. You might want to step back a little bit. Okay, I'm going to add salt, some sugar, tomato powder, garlic. You just mad scientists created this stuff on your own. You betcha. Onion? Am I downwind from this right now? You get as much of it as I am. Oh, I'm getting as much. Worcestershire sauce solids. <laughs> Increased smoke powder. I got some right here outside of my mouth. <laughs> Vinegar powder. This one will tighten you right up. <laughs> Black pepper. It's never coming out of the outfit, that's for sure. <laughs> a lot of spices are getting to know each other in a very intimate way. Bring it. All right. <laughs> You're Willy Wonka and I just ate like that nine course meal. <laughs> this mixture that we just made be the marinade for the ribs prior to boiling them. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait, time okay. to whating them? Boiling them. The what? The ribs. Turn on the pencil. <laughs> I have only been taught and told forever that you're not supposed to boil the meat because it just brings out the flavor, sucks all that flavor out of the bones. That's why we boil it in this marinade. So we're actually bringing that flavor back to it. All right, man. I'm listening. Your house. I'm just a. I don't know why. I'm, I'm confused. You're gonna soon find out. Rip ball and crazy set of guns. Anything else I need to know about here in the gypsy meat market? <laughs> We're going to tumble them with this. Are they ever going to get smoke? That's it. Just from charcoal. That's it. What kind of ribs are we using, by the way? Baby back, St. Louis? St. Louis style. Okay. It's medium. It's got better flavor. Better flavor. Exactly. Okay. First, we're going to lift the uh, skirt, square it up a little bit. Watching you work that knife is like watching a surgeon. It's all in the knife. It's your rib tips right here. And then this, we'll use for sausage. You're still keeping the butcher mind about everything that you do here. It's, it's, it's waste not, want not. Exactly. How long is this going to tumble for? For about 16 hours. What? Seriously, how long will you tell this? 16 hours. Take it. Okay, let's go. If this goes missing, don't look at my car. <laughs> so now we're going to put some vacuum on it. What kind of pump is that? A sump pump. I'm filling an inner tube and put the river. These will save you a lot of time. It's not only to get the marinade in it, but it's also a tenderizing process, like a massaging process that goes on it Correct. without breaking the meat down. Did I pay attention to meat class? Oh, you did good. Man. I did good. Right. After a 16-hour tumble, they're boiled in the marinade and hit the grill. The ninja dust. I like a thin rack. That's my rack right back in there. There you go. So that's our rib, boiled 45 minutes. And this is dry seasoning with no sauce on it. No right. sauce. By no means. It's just lacking flavor. It's not pulling off. It's got it's got a nice texture, nice chew to it. That's one of the things I like to see. A different texture than when it's smoked. Juicy, tender, great flavor, and there's no sauce. But I'll tell you this, dude. That's a real deal rib. You're a real deal, man. Hey, I appreciate it. Man. I ain't joking around. Ribs are perfectly cooked. It's juicy. It's delicious. The way you prepare them, they come up great. You don't even have to bite it. You can just pull it right off the bone. So you make one of the best barbecue in town. When I drove up, I really looked at it and said, oh my gosh, I mean, I got a guy here with a couple smokers making some beef jerky. And it's, dude, you are doing competition level meat. That's what we like to hear. Really good. Coming up on Triple D Barbecue.